And there is a bigger one, får vi også at vide nu. Så der er to. Det var hurtigt, var. <laughs> der er et design fuck. Er det lidt uh, iPod, iPad-agtigt design? Jamen, det er jo iPad Air design. Det er sådan lidt, lidt blanding med, med, sammen med... Med iPod, faktisk. And there men, is a bigger one. Men sjovt, at kameraet er så langt ude. Ja, det fik jeg ikke ret i. Jeg havde regnet med, at den, øh, det var et designfog, hvis det var tilfældet. Så det må jeg bare erkende. Det er et designfog. Der er nok en god grund. iPhone 6 Plus. Plus. Oh my god. Ja. Yeah. Det kommer den ikke til at hedde! Nej. <laughs> the iPhone 6. And the iPhone 6. Har du, har du kommet til at sætte uh, nogle... Uh, oh, yes. The best iPhones we've ever done. And I hope you'll agree. They're the best phones you have ever... Ej, det går ikke det der. Nu kan vi ikke høre noget. Phil Schiller får lov til at præsentere den. Han kommer på lige om lidt. Jamen, I, I slukkede det, men det samme, I klikkede på noget. Puff, så slukkede den. Den er lavet i... Uh, And these pixels allow it to have a very broad angular view with accurate colors. They are simply stunning, unlike any display ever on a phone. And yes, they're bigger. They're a lot bigger. Here on the left is an iPhone 5S, in the center, iPhone 6, and on the right, the iPhone 6 Plus. So you can see the difference. And if you don't know... Præcis. Ja. Nu røg lyden. Yeah. Jamen, det er ikke os. Nej, vi taler videre. Uh, det, det matcher meget godt. Vi får oplysningerne ind her. Uh, 7.41. Det, det har vist sig gennem erfaring, at, at, at det var det, som, som var mest... Hey. Det ser insanely great ud. In Vainglory, players play a unique hero with unique skills and abilities. Øhm, For example, prøv lige at gå ned i uh, lydniveauer, Christoffer. Helt nederst. Ved bunden. Prøv at holde musen over. Nej, hold musen over. Ja. Der er ikke nogen, du kan slide på. Men han kan da bare skrue op på mixeren. Nej, jeg, jeg tænker på den koreanske stemme. Nå! No. De sagde, at der var en slider til det. Prøv at klikke på den der. Der er ikke noget, det er Hvis nogen kan sige, hvor vi kan slå den koreanske stemme fra, så gør vi det. Vainglory brings this world competitive gaming to iOS. Now the rules are simple. Two teams battle to destroy a giant crystal in the heart of their opponent's space. Think of it like capture the flag, but with used our evil game engine. Det er jo fuldstændig lidt måske en konsol så. Ja, og med det metal som de lancerer, så er der nogen der hedder Microsoft og Sony som tænker, hmm, det er så fedt det her. New lighting effects, like these crystals casting blue light. Fordi OpenGL og DirectX har jo sådan set ligget og været mestrene på, på spilsiden. Men det der, det kunne jo fint se ud til at trække League of Legends. Ja, sagtens. Altså League of Legends er meget mindre avanceret end det der. Counter-Strike for den sags skyld også. Hvad er det, man kalder den type spil der, Brille? MOBA? Det der, det ligner faktisk et MOBA. Øhm, ligesom League of Legends er, eller Dota for den sags skyld. Øhm, men ligner lidt en øh, mere touchvenlig version, som ikke er så fokuseret på det, der hedder mechanics. Prøv at se, hvor stor detalje der er i det. Det der er mega fedt, det der. Det er super flot, det der. Ja. Og mange sådan fede uh, zoom ind og se en gruppe og, og skygger, der bare er fuldstændig real-time jo vel det hele. Altså det er flot on League of Legends, det der. Vi founded Super Evil Megacorp to bring the hardcore gaming experiences of PCs and consoles to the mobile generation. Ja. This is why we are so thrilled of PCs and consoles to the mobile generation. Vainglory is our first game, and we can't wait for you to try it. You won. 
Good game, Tommy. <laughs> Join us when that. Glory launches in the App Store this fall. Thank you. <laughs> 100% kopieret af League of Legends yeah, yeah, yeah. Men League of Legends er jo skabt ud fra et mod Der var til Warcraft Nemlig. Ja, det vidste vi godt Eller, eller noget På stream So, larger display Thinner design Incredible performance Obviously, that impacts battery life Well, I'm really happy to tell you The team has worked hard To make the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus Have super better battery life In every metric than the iPhone 5S Just look at some of these numbers. iPhone 6, 50 hours of audio playback, 11 hours of video watching, 11 hours Wi-Fi browsing, 10 hours. So fik vi måske forklaring til hvorfor den er så stor, så er stor batteri. 14 hours of HD video playback, 12 hours Wi-Fi browsing, LTE browsing, 3G browsing, really great battery life. Along with the A8, there's our motion co-processor, a new generation. M8, the same as Alice, then it come. And as you know, this motion co-processor works for the iOS 5s, iPhone 5s. With all those great sensors on your phone, the accelerometer, the gyroscope, the compass. And this is really helpful for things like fitness applications to track data and provide it back to you. What do you tell me? can tell when you're cycling and you're walking, you're running. It also has a new ability to estimate distance. We don't know where you go for a run. You can tell how many steps you're running, but also how far you've gone. And for the first time, give you credit for elevation as well. Flights of stairs. We all need to run more stairs. How does it do it? Well, there's a new sensor built into iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, the barometer. It me measures relative elevation from air pressure. Like the new health app in iOS 8, we now get credit for flights of stairs you walk throughout your day. In development, we can take advantage of this new sensor as well. For example, in Nike, it's working in a new version of the Nike Plus 1 app, so it can track not only how far you run, but also the elevation as well. So great new AA chip, great new MA chip, kan I huske det, vi var børn? Der hang sådan et, uh, so et uh, skiberur, man kunne banke på, så man få at vide, om det blev regnet. Ja, det var bare meter. Så nu skal du bare banke på din iPhone, så kan du få at vide, om det bliver regnet. 100 megabit. 150 megabit. Det gør det med teknologi, som hedder Carrier Og der er nu 20 LTE-bands, kompært til 13 tidligere. Det er det mest i en smartphone i verden. It means we're working now with over 200 carriers around the world to support LTE on iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. So we're going to go through it all again. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called Volte. Volte. That stands for Voice over LTE. It means we can take the voice data of making a phone call off the 5G network and move it up onto the 4G LTE network. And move it up onto the 4G LTE network. Så vi er fri for dårlig dækning. Hører du efter? Ja, ja, vi bliver bedt om at ikke tale hele tiden. Vi arbejder med mange kærligere rundt om verden. Vi skal rulle ud support for Volte med iPhone 6 og iPhone 6 Plus. Der er også hurtigere Wi-Fi i begge af de produkter. 802.11ac, som er op til tre gange hurtigere end 802.11n. Op til 433 megabit per sekund. Nu, hvis du kombinerer Wi-Fi og Volte, Our engineers came up with a really cool idea, making calls over Wi-Fi using your standard cellular connection. So maybe at your office or your home, you don't have a great cellular reception, but you do have Wi-Fi. You can make a standard call in the same way, and it'll go out over We'll seamlessly just hand off and keep going. This is really cool technology. So can I begin to ring the phone? Yeah, you can. Hold that kiss, my queen. This is just the start of it. The first carriers working together with us on it are T-Mobile in the U.S. and EE in the U.K. And you'll see more quickly over time. So great wireless capabilities. Perhaps many people's favorite feature of their iPhone is their camera. And there are great new cameras in both iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. And people love taking photos with their iPhone for good reason. 
Here's an example. National Geographic photographer Jim Richardson took this photo in the Scottish Highlands with an iPhone. I mean, it's a beautiful photo. He's taken many more. And he and all of us will take even better photos with the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus because there's an all new iSight camera in it. It's an 8 megapixel iSight camera. It has Apple's innovative True Tone Flash. There's large 1.5 micron pixels. It has a fast 2.2 aperture, but most importantly, there's a new generation iSight sensor in it to take better photos. It's packed with some cool technologies. Let me just tell you one. It's called Focus Pixels. You see, those. Ige Let's look inside Manuel at the Glenn sensor inside the iSight camera. And you'll see these dedicated pairs of focus pixels. And what they do, they have little shutters on them, they read the light coming in from objects, and as the lens moves in and out, it can tell whether that object is in phase or out of phase. This is called phase detection autofocus. It's a technology used by high-end DSLRs. It's the best way to do fast autofocus. And now the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus have it. And they can focus almost twice as fast of the previous generation. And there's so many more things a sensor can do to take beautiful photos. It has great new generation tone mapping. It has beautiful noise reduction. It all adds up to incredible photos. So let me show you a couple taken right with an iPhone 6, straight off the camera, no retouching. People love ah. taking portrait photos with their iPhone. And this is a great one. Prøv at se, hvor flot ens The skin tone is <laughs> really lovely. Hold great photo. Here's another portrait. He's smiling, if you can't tell. The skin tones are perfect. You have to trust me on that. <laughs> People also love taking macro photos. There's a beautiful one of a California monarch butterfly. Anyone know? That's a female, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> and even landscapes with the wide-angle lens are just beautiful, particularly with the noise reduction for bluer skies without sacrificing sharpness. And everyone loves now taking panoramas with their iPhone as well. And you take even bigger ones with And with the new generation gyroscope, the stitching is near seamless. Now what makes your photos great are three things. It's the five element lens, it's the imaging sensor, and it's also the brains behind it all, the image signal processor that's part of the Apple a8 chip, and there's a whole new generation signal processor inside iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. For example, it has a dedicated hardware block now to do advanced face detection. So you're taking a photo, you can even quicker find faces throughout your scene to get the perfect focus. And it no. Så døde vi igen. <laughs> uh, lige nu der snakker de, uh, jeg sidder og følger en live blog også, de snakker om image stabilization lige nu. Uh, så måske, at der kommer... Uh, 6 Plus for Optical Image Stabilization. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> det er for 6 Plus, men <laughs> ikke de andre. Sådan. 6 Plus adds something new with the iPhone line. Optical Image Stabilization. So what's that? Let's look at the lens inside the iPhone 6 Plus. Of course it moves <laughs> front to back to focus, as always. But now it can also move up and down and side to side. And we combine that with the M8 and with the... Yeah. <laughs> det er altså ikke også det uh, Apple de bliver oversvømmet lige nu yeah. Vi sidder og holder opdateret fra diverse live blogs For at være sikker på at uh, vi er med Gyroscope Ah så kom Ja yeah, de bruger simpelthen gyroskopet til Sharp photo og... because of optical image stabilization So we love the eyesight cameras on our phones And they take beautiful photos So it's not a surprise We don't see a lot of these anymore Right. Okay. Dedicated cameras, small point and shoot cameras, they're certainly not as fun, and increasingly we're taking amazing photos directly off of our iPhone. What's interesting is, it's probably been a while since you've seen one of these as well. <laughs> Anyone remember what they're called? Camcorder. Yeah, camcorder. I think our parents used to use these. So. Right? Keep heart on the FaceTime camera. So, amazing cameras, both the front side and the back side, FaceTime camera and iSight camera. Both the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus will come with an iOS 8, the latest version of the world's most advanced mobile operating system. And there are so many great features. I just want to point out a few of them 
that are really wonderful on the Recap. new iPhones. First, nu. the new messages app. Newton's not 1941. You can share your Dead location yeah. with friends. You can now share audio messages along with your photos and your videos. And there's a new controller on the bottom right hand side there that you control with your thumb. So it's really easy to do one handed. There's oh. a new keyboard with quick new type. New controller to one hand. words based on the content of what you're typing. And again, easy to reach one hand. If I see Kuskum, if you can take it. Wait. Best phones ever made iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Packed with features from everything from those amazing displays to the super fast 64 bit A8 chip and on and on. They are the best we know how to make and I think the best anyone's seen. And the team works so hard to make these in the most environmentally friendly way. So we always like to call attention to this because it matters a lot. Not only do you see all the things you're used to seeing here, there's a new one as well, beryllium free, which we commit to do. So the team, the team makes these just, just in a wonderful fashion. There are new cases for both silicon phones. Cases. New silicon cases. Six colors with a great feel, including product red. And new leather cases. Five beautiful dyes, including product red there as well. iPhone 6 comes in these three beautiful colors, gold, silver, and space gray. Yeah, yeah. I think by now you're all wondering, yeah, but how much does it cost? Hey, hey. Hey, please, well, please I'm really up. happy to tell you it starts at just 199. Yeah. No? Det er for 4,7 tommer. Ja. Men alligevel. 199 dollar. Ja. Det, det sk- med kontrakt. Med kontrakt. Nå, jeg tænkte lige, what? Det er med kontrakt. Du skal gange med noget mere i Danmark. Uh, uh, ja, det bliver, dem bliver dyr i plussen. Ja, det er, den, det er de normale danske priser, skal vi regne med for en, uh, for en 4,7 tommer. Jamen, så bliver plussen jo meget dyr. Ik? Jo, det, den bliver formentlig 100 dollar dyre per model, kunne jeg forestille mig. Det er bare et gæt. Silver and space gray, and it starts ja, præcis. at 299. Præcis 100 dollar dyre. Yeah, really, you heard a while, you're right. For 16 gigs, 399 for 64, and 499. Og de beholder 5 serien. Og 5 serien bliver gratis med kontrakt. Med kontrakt, ja. Og kommer ned på 8 gig igen, så... Ja. Uh, derudover så uh, sept- Yesterday, 19. september the kommer de på markedet. Vi ved ikke, det er den spil, der er nu. iPhone 5C in an 8 gig configuration. Typical. Vi ved heller ikke, om det er til Tyskland. Det kommer den 19. september. 105. The new iOS 8 that we're seeing up here. Ja, det er omkring. Ja, ja, men det er jo det er allerede næste fredag. Det works hard as always to make it the widest number of customers possible. So here you see the list of all the devices that are supported. Og den 17. september kommer iOS 8 ud som software opdatering. Og det er slut for iPhone nu. Slut for iPhone. Free ja. Nu kommer iOS 8 on September 17. Så. Yes. Og som sagt, det har Verge ret i. Der blev overhovedet ikke nævnt noget om mere field so communication. So that is new iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Thank you. Og nu bliver det spændende. <laughs> nu bliver det rigtig spændende. Tak for i aften. 1941. No. 1941. <laughs> in every single way. And to make this point clear, we've enlisted the help of a couple of our friends to do some fun new ads. And I'd love to share one Hvis of those YouTube. with you right now. Hvis vi får YouTube, YouTube dun, musik på, så skyder vi lyden. Ah, det er godt for Det var det var just simple like you be fallen. Okay, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Publikum går amok. <laughs> Does anybody know who they are? 
Yeah, Justin, Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake and Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon. Fallon. <laughs> Hvor vidste du det fra? Det er sådan for Butch. No. <laughs> Do you want to see another one? Here, here's another one. <laughs> this is the iPhone 6, and this is the iPhone 6 Plus. They come with a thing called health, so they can help you track a lot of stuff. Like today I walked 3.8 miles. Well, I ran 4.2 miles. <laughs> well, I climbed 11 flights of stairs. <laughs> well, I drank a smoothie that had 362 calories in it. Well, I had a funnel cake that had 1,230 <laughs> calories in it. <laughs> you know, that's not good, right? <laughs> it was good. It was good. Delicious. <laughs> Nu kan jeg lukke det æblekage. Så kan jeg så Entirely fortælle jer det. Entirely new category of service. Nu kommer der noget omkring betaling. Ny service. Det er jeg ikke vild med. Jeg vil have en ny kategori. Produkt. Payments. And it's all about the wallet. Puh. Yep, 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 yep. Our vision is to replace this. And we're going to start by focusing on payments. Payments is a huge business. Every day between credit and debit, we spend $12 billion. That's over $4 trillion a year, and that's just in the United States. And this business is comprised of over 200 million transactions a day. That's 200 million times that we scramble for our credit cards, and go through what is a fairly antiquated payment process. <laughs> yeah. It looks something like this. Og så får vi lige sat tingene lidt på spidsen, ikke? <laughs> det ligner mit, det der. Nå, så. Godnat. Det. Tak for det. Jamen, øh, kan vi få liv ind igen? Ja. Kan okay, Apple? Så fik vi betalinger. Det havde jeg ellers svoret, at vi ikke ville få, fordi... Mm. Hvad kan man sige? Det er et nyt Apple. Så nu gør de det for betalinger, de gjorde for iTunes musik. Muligvis. proces er baseret på this lille piece af plastik. And whether it's a credit or a debit card, we're totally reliant on the exposed numbers and the outdated and vulnerable magnetic stripe interface, which by the way is five decades old, and the security codes, which all of us know aren't so secure. It's so easy to lose your card or have it compromised. It's no wonder that people have dreamed of replacing these for years. It's been up a touch but they've all failed. The New York Times said it best. A truly mobile wallet has long been described as imminent, but it remains elusive. Most have been a disappointment or have not yet worked well enough for mainstream adoption. Why is this? It's because, as it turns out, most people that have worked on this have started by focusing on creating a business model that was centered around their self-interest instead of focusing on the user experience. We love this kind of problem. This is exactly what Apple does best. And so we've created an entirely new payment process and we call it Apple Pay. Hello. <laughs> Apple Pie, Apple Pay. Wow. <laughs> and I'd like to show you just how fast and just how easy it is. Thank you. Total is 2378. Me That's it. That's Med touch ID. No touch ID. Ja. Og så har vi også fået NFC. Yeah. Maybe. Would you like to see it one more time, just in case? I slow motion. Filmet med en 240. Billeder i sekundet slow motion. 
It is so cool. Det var oplagt, at det ville komme betaling med fingeraftryk, lige siden de lavede på fem minutter. That is Apple Pay, and to tell you more about it, I'd like to invite Eddie Hughes. Men det kommer aldrig til Danmark. Eddie? Men, men nu har jeg bare på fornemmelsen, at der ikke kommer noget ur. Når yeah. det der, det er nyheden. Yeah. Yeah. Det må ikke være nyheden. Thanks, Tim. It's Ej. great to be here this morning. Now, Apple Pay is built into every iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. And we've got a groundbreaking NFC radio antenna built across the top. Now, NFC is the standard for all contactless payments. Now, you also have the convenience and security of Touch ID. And we've got a new chip called the Secure Element. And it's built into every iPhone 6, and it stores all of your payment information encrypted and securely. Annoying photos. <laughs> you can also see all of your credit cards on Passbook. Now Apple Pay is easy, it's secure, and it's private. Let's get started with how easy it is. Now we have hundreds of millions of credit cards and debit cards from customers in their iTunes store accounts. <laughs> When they get a new iPhone 6, they can just say, use the card on file. But it's also easy to add a new card. You use your iPhone iSight camera, <laughs> we take a picture of the card, gather all the information, go to your bank and verify that that's your card, and we add it right to Passbook. Different aside. And now, with just a touch, you've paid. It's that fast, it's that easy. Now, we've also integrated security throughout both the hardware and software in a way that only Apple can. So when you add a new credit card, we don't store the credit card number and we don't give it to the merchant. We create a device-only account number, and we store it safely in the secure element. And each time you pay, we use a one-time payment number along with a dynamic security code. So you no longer have the static code in the back of your platform. And suspend all of the payments from that device. And again, because the credit card isn't stored on the device, there's no need to cancel your credit card. Der bliver nikket anerkendende her i studiet. Det gør der. Det er virkelig ret sejt, det der. Og det kommer i Danmark om 16 år. Security is at the core of Apple Pay, but so is privacy. We are not in the business of collecting your data. Det er i vores tæt. So when you go to a physical location and use Apple Pay, Apple doesn't know what you bought, where you bought it, or how much you paid for it. The transaction is between you, the merchant, and your bank. And the... <laughs> and the cashier doesn't get to see your name, credit card number, or security code like they do today when you hand them a plastic card. So Apple Pay, it's fast, it's secure, and it's private. Now we're starting in the US with credit cards and debit cards from the three major networks, American Express, MasterCard, and Visa. And we've got the six biggest issuing banks in the US, along with a few more. They add up for more than 80% of all credit card volume in the US, and we'll keep adding even more banks. Now you can use Apple Pay in the over 220,000 merchant locations that accept contactless payments today. But we've been working with some of the largest retailers to enable Apple Pay in all of their locations. The largest department store, Macy's and Bloomingdale's. The largest drug store, Walgreens and Duane Reed, with over 8,000 locations and 8 million visitors. Staples, the largest office products. Subway, with over 26,000 locations in the US. McDonald's with 27 million visitors every day, McDonald's. and McDonald's is even adding Apple Pay to its drive-thru. Hvor tæt skal man have NFC på, for den fanger det? 3-5 centimeter. Whole Foods, no. the healthiest grocery store and leading provider of organic food. Så man kan ikke betale med den i lommen. Nej, heller ikke ved et tilfælde. And our own Apple retail stores. Whoa! Du kan betale for en iPhone 6 med en iPhone Vi bliver vel spammet i, uh, i chatten. Det er røgnet i etæret. 4500. <laughs> What? Det er helt vildt. Det er Now, kineser og koreaner, der går lov på til samme som i stedet for Apple. Det er usporsligt. Det var fordi... 
Thank the you. many <laughs> retailers that are adding Apple Pay in all of their locations. But what about online? We want to make online purchasing just as fast, more secure, more private. There's over a billion dollars a day spent on online purchasing. That's five million daily transactions just in the U.S. alone. And the process is really <laughs> cumbersome. You got these long forms to fill out for each and every app that you shop in. Well, with Apple Pay, one touch checkout. There's no need to enter your credit card, your expiration date, your security code. You don't even have to enter your shipping or billing address. And none of your credit card information is shared with the merchant. We use the one-time payment number out of the secure element. And we've been working with some great retailers like Target to enable Apple Pay into their shopping app. Just look at some of these numbers. iPhone 6, 50 hours of audio playback, 11 hours of video watching, 11 hours Wi-Fi browsing, 10 hours. So we can maybe explain to you why the battery is so small. It's a small battery. 14 hours of HD video playback, 12 hours Wi-Fi browsing, LTE browsing, 3G browsing. Really great battery life. Along with the A8, there's our motion co-processor, a new generation. M8, the same as well as the Nikon. And as you know, this motion co-processor no, will be small, but also will work for your processor with all those great sensors in your phone, the accelerometer, the gyroscope, the compass. And this is really helpful for things like fitness applications to track data and provide it back to you. What are you telling me? can tell when you're cycling and you're walking, you're running. It also has a new ability to estimate distance. We know where you're going to go for a run. You can tell how many steps you're running, but also how far you've gone. And for the first time, give you credit for elevation as well, flights of stairs. We all need to run more stairs. How does it do it? Well, there's a new sensor built into iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, the barometer. It me measures relative elevation from air pressure. It also shows up to things like the new health app in iOS 8, where you now get credit for flights of stairs you walk throughout your day. And developers can take advantage of this new sensor as well. For example, Nike Plus 1 here. So it can track not only how it's going, but also the elevation of the one. So great new AA chip, great new MA chip, great new MA chip, great new MA chip, Kan I huske det, vi var børn? Der hang sådan et, uh, et, uh, et uh, skiberur, hvor man går banke på, så man får at vide, om det bliver regnet. Ja, det var bare meter. Så nu skal du bare banke på din iPhone, så kan du få at vide, om det bliver regnet. 100 megabit. 150 megabit. Det gør det med en teknologi, der hedder Carrier Aggregation. Og der er nu 20 LTE-bands, kompært til 13 tidligere. Det er det mest i any smartphone i verden. It means we're working now with over 200 carriers around the world to support LTE on iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. So we're going to scroll it up again. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called Volte. Volte. That stands for Voice over LTE. It means we can take the voice data of making a phone call off the 4G network and move it up onto the 4G LTE network. And move it up onto the 4G LTE network. Så vi er fri for dårlig dækning. Hører du efter? Ja, ja, vi bliver bedt om at ikke tale hele tiden. Vi arbejder med mange forskellige carriere rundt i verden, som vil rulle ud for for Volte med iPhone 6 og iPhone 6 Plus. Der er også hurtigere Wi-Fi i begge produkter også. 80211 AC, som er op til tre gange hurtigere end 80211 N, op til 433 megabit per sekund. Hvis vi har Wi-Fi i Volte, our engineers came up with a really cool idea, making calls over Wi-Fi using oh. your standard cellular connection. So maybe at your office or your home, you don't have a great cellular reception, but you do have Wi-Fi. You can make a standard call in the same way, and it will go out over 
will seamlessly just hand off and keep going. Sådan. This is really cool technology. Det er ret sejt. Så kan jeg begynde at ringe hjemmefra nu. Ja. Det kan du. Når du får en iPhone 6. Hold da kæft, hvor kul. This is just the start of it. The first carriers working together with us on it are T-Mobile in the US and EE in the UK. And you'll see more quickly over time. So great wireless capabilities. Perhaps many people's favorite feature of their iPhone is their camera. And there are great new cameras in both iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. And people love taking photos with their iPhone for good reason. Here's an example. National Geographic photographer Jim Richardson took this photo in the Scottish Highlands with an iPhone. I mean, it's a beautiful photo. He's taken many more. And he and all of us will take even better photos with the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus because there's an all new iSight camera in it. It's an 8 megapixel iSight camera. It has Apple's innovative True Tone flash. There's large 1.5 micron pixels. Has a fast 2.2 aperture, but most importantly, there's a new generation. And there is a bigger one for the other side. So that's all. Det var hurtigt, var? Der er et designfuck. Er det lidt uh, iPod, iPad-agtigt design? Jamen, det er jo iPad Air-design. Ja, sådan lidt, lidt blanding med, sammen med, med iPod, faktisk. And there is a bigger one. Men sjovt, at kameraet er så langt ude. Ja, det fik jeg ikke ret i. Jeg havde regnet med, at den... Uh, det var et designfog, hvis det var tilfældet, så det må jeg bare erkende, det er et designfog. Der er nok en god grund. iPhone 6 Plus. Plus. Oh my god. Ja. Yeah. Det kommer den ikke til at hedde! Nej. The iPhone 6. iPhone 6. And the iPhone 6. Har du, har du kommet til at sætte uh, nogle... Without a doubt. The best iPhones we've ever done. And I hope you'll agree. They're the best phones you have ever. I did go like that. Who can we hear now? Phil Schiller for allowed to present it. He comes on Liam Litz. I, I slukkede det, men det samme, I klikkede på noget, puff, så slukkede det den. Det er lavet i... Og de pixels allow it to have a very broad angle of view with accurate colors. They are simply stunning, unlike any display ever on a phone. And yes, they're bigger. They're a lot bigger. Here on the left is an iPhone 5S, in the center, iPhone 6, and on the right, the iPhone 6 Plus. So you can see the difference. And if you don't know... Precis. Yeah. Nu røg lyden. Ja. Jamen, det er ikke os. Nej, vi taler videre. Øh, det, det matcher jo meget godt. Vi får oplysningerne ind her. Øh, 7.41. Det, det har vist sig gennem erfaring, at, at, at det var det, som, som var mest... Hey. Det ser insanely great ud. In Vainglory, players play a unique hero with unique skills and abilities. Um, For example, prøv lige at gå ned i uh, lydniveauer, Christoffer. Det helt nederst. Det er bunden. Prøv at holde musen over. Nej, hold musen over. Nå. Der er ikke nogen, du kan slide på. Men han kan da bare skrue op på mixeren. Nej, jeg, jeg tænker på den koreanske stemme. Nå. No. De sagde, at der var en slider til det. Prøv at klikke på den der. Der er ikke noget, det er share. Hvis nogen kan sige, hvor vi kan slå den koreanske stemme fra, så gør vi det. Vainglory brings this world competitive gaming to iOS. Now the rules are simple. Two teams battle to destroy a giant crystal in the heart of their opponent's space. Think of it like capture the flag, but with used our evil game engine. Det er jo fuldstændig lidt måske en konsol så. Ja, og med det metal som de lancerer, så er der nogen der hedder Microsoft og Sony som tænker, hmm, det er så fedt det her. New lighting effects, like these crystals casting blue light. For the OpenGL or DirectX have also set ligged or were mistrene or was built in. And in the heart of it all. But this, this could be fun to set up to track League of Legends. It's actually, as League of Legends is much more advanced than this. Crown Strike for this is good. This is a massive monster that, if captured by your team, will fight on your side to help you destroy the. 
Hvad er det, man kalder den type spil, der brille? MOBA? Det der, det ligner faktisk et MOBA. Øhm, ligesom League of Legends er, eller Dota for den sags skyld. Øh, men ligner lidt en øh, mere touchvenlig version, som ikke er så fokuseret på det, der hedder mechanics. Prøv at se, hvor stor detalje der er i det. Det er da mega fedt, det er fedt, super det der. flot, det der. Ja. Og mange sådan, fede uh, zoom ind og se en gruppe og, og skygger, der bare er fuldstændig real-time jo vel det hele. Altså det er flot on League of Legends, det der. Vi founded Super Evil Mega Corp to bring the hardcore gaming experiences of PCs and consoles to the mobile generation. Ja. This is why we are so thrilled of PCs and consoles to the mobile generation. Vainglory is our first game and we can't wait for you to try it. You won. Good game, Tommy. Join us when Glory launches in the App Store this fall. Thank you. Who knew Sun could appear that legal eyesight sensor in it to take better photos? It's packed with some cool technologies. Let me just tell you one. It's called Focus Pixels. Vi fik ikke manuel blind. Og du ser de af fokuspixels. Og hvad de gør, de har lille skjulter på dem. De læser de lyd, der kommer ind fra objekter, og når de lens kommer ind og ud, kan de fortælle, om det er en objekt, der er i fase eller ud af fase. Det er kaldt fase detection autofocus. Det er en teknologi, der er brugt af højende DSLR'er. Det er den bedste måde at lave fast autofocus. And now the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus have it, and they can focus almost twice as fast of the previous generation. And there's so many more things the sensor can do to take beautiful photos. It has great new generation tone mapping. It has beautiful noise reduction. It all adds up to incredible photos. So let me show you a couple taken right with an iPhone 6, straight off the camera, no retouching. People love oh. taking portrait photos with their iPhone. Prøv at se, hvor flot ens belyst det er. Prøv at se den her. Hold nu kæft. Her er en anden portræt. Han er smilende, hvis du ikke kan se. De skintoner er perfekt. Du må tro på det. Folk elsker også at tage makrofotos. Her er en flot en af en kalifornisk monarch butterfly. Er det en kvinde? Det er en kvinde, hvis du ikke kan se. Og også landskaber med vores angle lens. Are just beautiful, particularly with the noise reduction for bluer skies without sacrificing sharpness. And everyone loves now taking panoramas with their iPhone as well, and you take even bigger ones with. And with the new generation gyroscope, the stitching is near seamless. Now, what makes your photos great are three things: it's the five-element lens. It's the imaging sensor, and it's also the brains behind it all, the image signal processor that's part of the Apple A8 chip, and there's a whole new generation signal processor inside iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. For example, it has a dedicated hardware block now to do advanced face detection. So you're taking a photo, you can even quicker find faces throughout your scene to get the perfect focus. And it no. So do it again. <laughs> øh, lige nu der snakker de, øh, jeg sidder og følger en live blog også, de snakker om image stabilization lige nu. Øh, så måske, at der kommer, øh, ja, 6 plus for optical image stabilization. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> det er for 6 plus, <laughs> men <laughs> ikke de andre. <laughs> Sådan. 6 plus adds something new with the iPhone line. Optical image stabilization. So what's that? Let's look at the lens inside the iPhone 6 plus. Of course it moves <laughs> front to back to focus as always, but now it can also move up and down and side to side. And we combine that with the M8 and with the... Yeah, they have the Apple is getting awesome right now. We sit and hold it updated from various live blogs to be sure that we are with. Gyroscope... Ah, so come. Yeah, they use a gyroscope to... It's a sharp photo because of optical image stabilization. So we love the eyesight cameras on our phones. And they take beautiful photos. So it's not a surprise we don't see a lot of these anymore. Right? <laughs> Dedicated cameras, small point and shoot cameras, they're certainly not as fun. And increasingly, we're taking amazing photos directly off of our iPhone. 
What's interesting is, it's probably been a while since you've seen one of these as well. <laughs> Anyone remember what they're called? Camcorder. Yeah, camcorder. <laughs> I think our parents used to use these. Saw. Right? People are on the FaceTime camera. Huh? So, amazing cameras, both the front side and the back side, FaceTime camera and iSight camera. Both the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, will come with an iOS 8, the latest version of the world's most advanced mobile operating system. And there are so many great features. I just want to point out a few of them that are really wonderful on the new Recap. iPhones. First, no. the new messages app. Newton's not needing any You can share your Dead location yeah. with friends. You can now share audio messages along with your photos and your videos. And there's a new controller on the bottom right hand side there that you control with your thumb. So it's really easy to do one handed. There's oh. a new keyboard with quick new type. controller it to one hand. words based on the content of what you're typing. And again, easy to reach one hand. Det er faktisk ikke huske, om I fik fortalt. Det kan jeg ikke. The best phones ever made. iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Packed with features from everything from those amazing displays to the super fast 64-bit AA chip and on and on. They are the best we know how to make and I think the best anyone's seen. And the team works so hard to make these in the most environmentally friendly way. So we always like to call attention to this because it matters a lot. All about the wallet. Ooh. Yep, 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 yep. Our vision is to replace this. And we're going to start by focusing on payments. Payments is a huge business. Every day between credit and debit, we spend $12 billion. That's over $4 trillion a year, and that's just in the United States. And this business is comprised of over 200 million transactions a day. That's 200 million times that we scramble for our credit cards and go through what is a fairly antiquated payment process. <laughs> yeah. It looks something like this. Also, for we lease that thing a little bit more. <laughs> det ligner mit, det der. Nå, så godnat. Det det. Tak for det. Jamen, øh, kan vi lige få liv ind igen? Ja. Kære Apple. Så fik vi betalinger. Det havde jeg ellers svoret, at vi ikke ville få. Fordi... Hvad kan man sige? Det er et nyt Apple. Så nu gør de det for betalinger, de gjorde for iTunes musik. Muligvis. Uh, 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 uh. This whole process is mm. based on this little piece of plastic. And whether it's a credit or a debit card, we're totally reliant on the exposed numbers and the outdated and vulnerable magnetic stripe interface, which by the way is five decades old, and the security codes, which all of us know aren't so secure. It's so easy to lose your card or have it compromised. It's no wonder that people have dreamed of replacing these for years. It's been up a touch but they've all failed. The New York Times said it best. A truly mobile wallet has long been described as imminent, but it remains elusive. Most have been a disappointment or have not yet worked well enough for mainstream adoption. Why is this? It's because, as it turns out, most people that have worked on this have started by focusing on creating a business model that was centered around their self-interest instead of focusing on the user experience. We love this kind of problem. This is exactly what Apple does best. And so we've created an entirely new payment process, and we call it Apple Pay. <laughs> What's up? Apple Pie, Apple Pay. Wow. <laughs> and I'd like to show you just how fast and just how easy it is. I think your total is 23.78. Meef. That's it! 
Med Touch ID. Med Touch ID, ja. Og så har vi også fået NFC. Ja. Maybe... Would you like to see it one more time? Just in case... I slow motion. Filmet med en 240... Billeder i sekundet slow motion. It is so cool. <laughs> det var oplagt, at det ville komme betaling med fingeraftryk, lige siden de lavede det på fem minutter. That is Apple Pay, and to tell you more about it, I'd like to invite Eddie Men det kommer aldrig til Danmark. Men, men nu har jeg bare på fornemmelsen, at der ikke kommer noget ur. Når yeah. det der, det er nyheden. Yeah. Yeah. Det må ikke være nyheden. Thanks, Tim. It's Aye. great to be here this morning. Now, Apple Pay is built into every iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. And we've got a groundbreaking NFC radio antenna built across the top. Now, NFC is the standard for all contactless payments. Now, you also have the convenience and security of Touch ID. And we've got a new chip called the Secure Element. And it's built into every iPhone 6, and it stores all of your payment information encrypted and securely. Annoying photos. <laughs> you can also see all of your credit cards on Passbook. Now, Apple Pay is easy, it's secure, and it's private. Let's get started with how easy it is. Now, we have hundreds of millions of credit cards and debit cards from customers in their iTunes store accounts. <laughs> When they get a new iPhone 6, not only do you see all the things you're used to seeing here, there's a new one as well, Beryllium Free, which we commit to do. So the team, the team makes these just, just in a wonderful fashion. There are new cases for both silicon phones. Cases. There are new silicon cases. Six colors with a great feel, including product red. And new leather cases. Five beautiful dyes, including product red there as well. iPhone 6 comes in these three beautiful colors, gold, silver, and space gray. Yeah, yeah. Seems I think by now you're all wondering, yeah, but how much does it cost? Hey, hey. Hey, please, well, please. I'm really happy to tell you it starts at just 199. Yeah. No? Det er for 4,7 tommer. Ja, men alligevel. 199 dollar. Det, ja. det sk- med kontrakt. Med kontrakt. Nå, jeg tænkte lige, what? Det er med kontrakt. Du skal gange med noget mere i Danmark. Uh, ja, det bliver, bliver dyrt plussen. Ja, det er, den, det er de normale danske priser, skal vi regne med for en, uh, en 4,7 tommer. Jamen, så bliver plussen jo meget dyr. Ikke? Jo, det, den bliver formentlig 100 dollar dyrere per model, kunne jeg forestille mig. Det er bare et kit. Silver and space gray, and it starts ja, præcis. at 299. Præcis 100 dollar dyrere. Yeah, really, you heard a while, you're right. The 16 gigs, 399 for 64, and 499. Og de beholder 5 serierne. Og 5 serierne bliver gratis med kontrakt. Med kontrakt, ja. Og kommer ned på 8 gig igen, så... Ja. Uh, derudover så uh, Sep- den se- 19. september the kommer de på markedet. Vi ved ikke, det er den sidste pris, der er nu. Nej. iPhone 5C in an 8 gig configuration. Typical. Vi ved heller ikke, om det er til Tyskland, det kommer den 19. september. 105. The new iOS 8 that we're seeing up here. Ja, det er omkring. Ja, ja, men, men, men det, kæft, det er jo allerede næste fredag. Ja, yeah. yeah. det er jo det, 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 jeg troede, vi havde regnet med. The number of customers possible. So here you see the list of all the devices that are supported. Og den september kommer iOS 8 ud som software opdatering. Og det er slut for iPhone nu. Slut for iPhone. Ja. Nu kommer det med. On September 17. Så. Yes. Og som sagt, det har Verge ret i. Der bliver overhovedet ikke nævnt noget om near field so communication. So that is the new iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Thank you. Og nu bliver det spændende. <laughs> nu bliver det rigtig spændende. Tak for i aften. 1941. No. 1941. 1941. Slade. iPhone 6 bigger screens and they're amazing. But they're much better in every single way. And to make this point clear, we've enlisted the help of a couple of our friends to do some fun new ads. And I'd love to share one Mr. of those YouTube. with you right now. Hvis vi får YouTube, YouTube musik på, så skyder vi lyden. Dun, dun, 
Det var sgu godt for <laughs> det, var, det var Justin Timberlake at sige, at vi falder den. Okay, så godt. <laughs> Publikum går amok. <laughs> Does anybody know who they are? Yeah, Justin, Justin Timberlake. Timberlake and Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon. Fallon. Yeah. <laughs> Hvor vidste du det fra? Jeg sad på Virch. Do you want to see another one? Here, here's another one. <laughs> this is the iPhone 6, and this is the iPhone 6 Plus. They come with a thing called health, so they can help you track a lot of stuff. Like today I walked 3.8 miles. Well, I ran 4.2 miles. <laughs> well, I climbed 11 flights of stairs. <laughs> well, I drank a smoothie that had 362 calories in it. Well, I had a funnel cake that had 1,230 <laughs> calories in it. <laughs> you know, that's not good, right? <laughs> it was good. It was good. Delicious. Look at look the APK. So I guess it's a new category of service. Who come on and get the New service. Det er jeg ikke vil med. Jeg vil have en ny kategori. About an entirely new category of service. Payments. And it's all